All right, guys, welcome back. So today uh, we'll be looking at um, a scholarship program that's available for you in Canada, okay? Uh, the name is um, the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program. It's uh, offered by the uh, University of British Columbia in Canada, Vancouver, uh, precisely. So uh, this uh, particular scholarship program helps to, you know, afford international students from various countries the opportunity to study in Canada. So you get uh, you know lots of benefits as a beneficiary of this um, scholarship. You are offered a fully funded uh, tuition, so you are not going to pay tuition fee. You equally get um flight um paid for you, so you get flight free from flight tickets. You equally get opportunity to work and uh, and study as a student. Okay, then um you can also um you know apply for both undergraduate and uh, master's program in this um, institution. So I'm going to walk you guys through the process of um, doing this, okay? So for the undergraduate uh, programs, you need to know that this institution is a renowned uh, you know, institution that helps you to uh, actualize your goal for you know, advancing your studies and um, achieving your academic uh, pursuits. Yeah, so for uh, international major and trans scholarships, so you can see it's awarded to exceptional international students, you know, for undergraduate programs at this uh, UBC. And you know, UBC stands for University of British Columbia. Yeah, so uh, this is the eligibility criteria. First of all, um, you must be, you know, willing to study in the institution and, um, you must demonstrate exceptional academic excellence, maybe in your high school or secondary school, in the in your home country. Yeah. So and also you must not be a citizen of Canada. So this is tailored for people from diverse and uh, cultural backgrounds and all that. Yeah. So you can see uh, the application deadline is fifteenth January twenty twenty four. You know, so there's still lots of time for you to apply. Okay. Then you can see uh, there is also an opportunity for you to, you know, grab this rare opportunity such that um, you should apply on or before you apply before the fifteen so that you can be qualified to, you know, be in the selection pool for this um, scholarship uh, program. Yeah. So um, if you want to know more about this, um, I'm going to put the link in the description of this video. So that you go through it and uh, select the particular program that might interest you, you know, for this particular uh, scholarship uh, program. Okay. Now, when it comes to a uh, master's program, that's for uh, graduate admissions. If you want to uh, obtain your uh, master's degree, uh, okay, let's go to the requirements for master's. So first of all, you must have completed your bachelor's degree. That's on the graduate program in your home country, you know. Then you must not be a previous uh, uh, or recipient of a master's degree. So uh, this particular application should be your first master's degree uh, program that you want to attain, okay? Then uh, the age, there's also an age requirement. You can see you must be 35 years old or younger. So you shouldn't be older than 35 years you know, old. So you can see they specify the text basically here. Then there is also the criteria that you must be a citizen of um, a, one of these countries in sub-Saharan African uh, region, okay? And uh, let's go to that. So let's click on this link and go to those countries. So these are the countries uh, that are eligible for this. You see uh, Botswana, Angola, Gabon, Gambia, Cape Verde, Nigeria, Niger, Mozambique, Namibia, um, Ghana, Sierra Leone, South Africa, you know, there are over 50 countries. Here. So this is basically targeted at Africans who want to migrate to Canada using this uh, particular pathway. So you can take advantage of this opportunity if you are part of, you know, or if you are from any of these uh, countries listed here. So basically this covers most of the countries in Africa on the African continent. Okay. Yeah. So mm. now the next uh, criteria is that you must be willing to show leadership qualities and potential. So 
you must be willing to put in the required work. You know, obtaining a scholarship is one, and um, being able to, you know, meet up with um, the necessary things in terms of academic um, zeal is another thing. So you have you've got to be very uh, interested in being uh, selected for this. Okay, yeah. Now look at the faculties that are available for you. Now, you may not necessarily like any of this, you know. So, but you can try your luck in any of them because, you know, once you get access to Canada and, and uh, migrate to Canada, you can, after studying any of this, you can, you know, venture into other fields that might be of interest to you. So, it's not uh, compulsory that you you must ne necessarily be, you know, in this uh, particular field or that particular field. No. So, First of all, you see uh, there's Faculty of Forestry. Another Faculty of Forestry, they have a Master of Sustainable Forest Management, a Master of International Forestry, MIF. Uh, there's also Master of uh, Geomatics for Environmental Management, MGM. Then under the uh, Faculty of Land and Food Systems, they have a um, Master of Food and Resource uh, Economics, Master of food, uh, food Science, Master of Land and Water Systems. Then on that faculty of science, you have a master of data science. So just go ahead to check out any of this. So if you click on that, it's going to take you to the yeah, uh, platform for that, you know, for that particular faculty where you can explore other options that are available for you as regards that. So under this data science, you can see uh, UBC, University of British Columbia, master of data science. Okay, so you can apply for this now from here. So to apply, you see um, different um, descriptions here. So you see our deadline is 31st January 2024. So you still have some time to do that. Yeah, so you see other uh, requirements. Yeah, for example, you've got to write a personal uh, statement, uh, you know, write up and um, or a letter of intent. Then your uh, curriculum video, your resume should also be provided. Then your degree certificates and uh, official unofficial transcripts. Then you know you should have uh, some references, names and their names and their contacts. Then uh, you should also have um, results from IELTS or TOEFL, that's a uh, international English language uh, certification examination. That's a test for English language. Okay, then. Uh, you must also be willing to study in any of this. So you, there's Vancouver, MDS Vancouver, there's MDS uh, Okanagan, there's also MDS Computational uh, Logistics, Linguistics rather. Remember, um, MDS stands for, it's an acronym for Master of Data Science. So uh, that is very important that you know that. So uh, go ahead to apply for any of this by clicking on this, okay? So when you click on that, it's going to take you to the next phase. Then uh, take your time to go through this, each of them, so that you can, you know, kickstart your application process. So once you click on uh, create a new CWL, you know, and you know CWL is the application portal interface. So is is um is a resource that you need for this your journey. Okay, so. You see graduate applications online. So if you don't have an account with them, you can create an account. So, okay. So right here, to create an account on this, their portal. You see, this is the University of British Columbia. This is their portal. You know, remember, they are the ones offering this uh, scholarship. This is uh, a MasterCard Foundation scholarship, you know. Yeah, so go ahead to uh, enter your first name, last name, email, confirm email, then your, your preferred username. And um, then these are by capture verification code. Uh, so you just type this here and uh, proceed to the next option. So guys, um, go ahead to apply for this. Um, I, I, like I said earlier, I will drop the link to this uh, in the description of this video. If you also have any question, you can drop it in the comment section, okay? If you also have um, you know any concerns or challenges as regards your travel abroad goes, 
don't hesitate to reach out to us um, via the link in the description of this video or through the comment section. We'll be glad to hear from you guys. So see you guys in the next um video. Yeah.